Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, welcome to Street Smart Swing. Make sure you subscribe below so that you don't miss anything. If you wanna get access to over 25 of my online swing dance courses for free, check it out in the description below. It's a lot of fun. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at something that caught my eye by surprise. There was a channel that posted a colorized version of Stormy Weather, the, the wonderful performance that was done by the Nicholas Brothers and Cab Calloway. I don't know what this is gonna look like and how it's gonna shift my perspective uh, with it being in color, but I saw the thumbnail and I definitely wanna take a look at it and give you guys my thoughts, so let's go. Quiet on the set. Oh, I thought those were white drums, they're like an off-white. Dark green piano. Oh, Cab Calloway. So it looks like it's a navy blue suit. Amazing, wow. So much texture. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh wow, I can I notice the people in the background even more now. Yes. Wow, you can even see the texture and color of their hair. <laughs> you see him, oh, am I getting kicked? Look how little space they have to do what they're doing. And those little podiums they're step stepping on, they're wobbling. Look at that. <laughs> Notice how I talk about the upper body not moving as much as the lower body? Take note, swing dancers. Look at this. Look at that piano wobbling. Oh, the pinks. Oh, that's amazing. It's so rich with texture. Love this part. Yeah. 
years later, they suffered from doing this act. It was it was treacherous on their body. You can clearly see why. No fancy camera tricks, just full body shots. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, so good. So, so good. Look at all the rich color and textures. The flowers on her dress. You can see the golds. Like, you miss out on all of that in the original one. Yes. Wow. See, it's beautiful when you can see skin tones. I just love this. Amazing. Wow. 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 Amazing. Man, so good. Such a timeless performance. There's so many things about that clip that just bring about a lot of memories for me as a dancer. And, you know, there's something about seeing it in black and white for the first time that makes it more than just a clip, especially if you're a young dancer and you're a kid and you're being inspired by what you're seeing on the television. I know for me, when I was a kid, you know, watching Michael Jackson, that was a big deal. It was an event whenever he had his, his videos come out on, on regular television. And I feel like this video gives me that same feeling when it was in black and white. I, it's funny because I still feel the impact of their choreography. I feel the emotion of it all, but there's something about it being in color that gives me more depth uh, in terms of people and their personality and the nuance that you often can see in the difference between a photo and video. It's something about it being in black and white that makes me a tad bit more detached from their humanity, if, if you will. Watching this in color is interesting. I have mixed feelings watching it in color. I think I enjoy the performance more in black and white. I don't know 100% why that is, but I feel like it's it's bigger and it feels more um, human in color. You know what I mean? It's as if you don't want to get too close to your heroes. I, I was in the Michael Jordan era in basketball. You know, Michael Jordan was beyond basketball. He's huge, but he wasn't in the Twitter era. And I'm kind of glad he wasn't in the Twitter era. Era, <laughs> Yeah, it would have been a massive error if he was in the Twitter era. If Michael Jordan was in the Twitter era, constantly making his presence known in social media and exposing an aspect of his, his humanity that we normally wouldn't see behind closed doors, I don't know if that would have shifted my value and the overall mystique of his legacy. And I feel like this is what I feel on, on watching this again in color. I, I feel a little too close to my heroes. I don't want to see them sweat. I don't want to see them, you know, look proud or cocky. You know, I, I like the mystery of black and white. And, you know, sometimes a photo is better than having the video. Sometimes you want to remember um, the inflated version of your experience uh, sometimes that's better in your mind in, in terms of the emotional resolve that you might have about history. But sometimes when you get too close, you can you can see things you may not want to see. And I, I think that's the best way to describe this clip. I love what I saw in terms of the execution. I feel like it is on par with the black and white footage. But I, I would say it brings an element of humanity that uh, a lot of people like and a lot of people struggle to embrace and i'm one of those ones who struggle to embrace it uh especially when i all i know was that black and white video blowing my mind away uh seeing it for the first time and 
you know, elevating the Nicholas brothers to a level beyond where they should be, you know, in terms of dance. But I got to say, I want to hear you guys' opinion on this. What did you all think about this performance in color? I think it's fascinating. Uh, there's a lot of other videos that are coming out now in color, and I'm going to do some reactions on them just to see how I feel about it. But I want to hear what your thoughts are in the comments section below. All right. So let me know below and I uh, look forward to seeing your comments. Take care.